Welcome, folks. It is, in fact, Jacob Shoup again, sitting in for Tom O'Brien. He's a bit under the weather today, but uh, he'll be all right. So, the S&P 500, we have up about five points. The Dow Jones up about 13. NASDAQ down about five today. Now, let's see here. The ES is trading right at 4,500, the futures there. Uh, Russell futures at 1858. NQs at 1539, and then the Dow futures at 34,950, and always changing. Gold contract trading at 1953. We had some upward pressure with the gold contract as um, some of the deflation fears in China were uh, kind of dissipating. Silver at 2348, and that essentially brought some upward pressure into the gold market. And then we have the copper contract trading at 377. Now, light sweet crude oil futures trading at 91.59, the Brent at 94.38. Tesla, 265.91. Steel Dynamics cracking its consolidation on uh, some kind of substantial volume, actually, at 98 bucks. So, stand to see what happens there. If we could have rejected that with light volume and really moved to the top of its consolidation, I think that would have been a beauty. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, for a few months now, uh, since you know, basically in June, it really hasn't cracked that consolidation level, the $100 mark, um, with any substantial volume. Uh, it's kissed it a little bit, but it's come right back. And uh, it's the first time we've really broken down uh, past it with some volume. So not a great look for Steel Dynamics as it stands now. The dollar at 105.17, the Q's 3.70, Google, Trading 139, Meta 301, Disney uh, doing a little oh, doing a little bit better, right? Come back from that 79 area, and uh, we are trading currently at 85.26. Raymond James uh, put out a good analysis of them, saying that streaming uh, would probably have positive revenue. So currently they're doing a one dollar um, subscription for streaming to try to get people uh, onto their service, and then Apple at 178. 67. Okay. So what are we looking at right now? I want to look at Nova Nordisk. They have some interesting uh, stuff going on. Starting this year, we were coming about that 137 level, 138. Uh, their stock shot all the way up to 21076, and this gap up was on substantial volume. And this is from uh, Ozempic, uh, which is one of their drugs uh, for obesity, and same with Wagovi. Obviously, the uh, Americans love this. And uh, Novo Nordisk, Nordisk is actually massive. Uh, you know, it's Europe's second most valuable company, but this company itself is single-handedly carrying the economy of Denmark. It's very fascinating. Denmark's GDP from this grew 1.7% uh, in the first half of this year, um, but might have contracted if it weren't for the company. Uh, Novo Nordisk share price is up over 40% this year, as of Friday's close, uh, taking its market capitalization to 2. 6 trillion, uh, that's in Danish kroner, and that's 379 billion in USD. Uh, this is again from Ozempic and Wagovi, um, some other companies as well uh, who have obesity drugs that are promising, and it is uh, it's sending their stocks skyrocketing. So now, what's happening with it? Uh, well, today you can see it's down about 2%, and the FDA has reportedly uh, found objectionable conditions at a Kiwagovi plant. Now, in the short term, that's bad, right? And we'll read a little bit on this article. Now, there's nothing wrong with the drugs themselves and their concept. Um, but still, this FDA uh, report is not uh, great for them. And we might finish down probably about 2% today. Uh, the volume, honestly, was not substantial for this. And this is much more of like a running headline. But... It's good to keep in mind as well, if you're holding Nova Nordisk and you're not really sure what the dive is for. Uh, so, according to Reuters, uh, which cited a MarketWire news report, the FDA inspectors filed a Form 483 following their inspection of Novo Nordisk Clayton, uh, North Carolina manufacturing plant. That form lists any conditions the inspector found that could violate the FDA, um, excuse me, the Food and Drug Cosmetic Act and related acts. Novo lists the Clayton plant is one of three between Clayton and Durham responsible for making the diabetes and weight loss drugs, and that is uh, Wagovi and Ozempic, um, respectively. 
uh, like smalgitude. So, uh, for instance, smalgitude uh, sells as injections, and this is Ozempic and Wagovi, uh, and as an oral medicine called Ryobelsis. Ozempic and Ryobelsis treat diabetes, uh, while Wagovi is an increasingly popular weight loss drug. Uh, the inspection isn't listed on the FDA's inspection database, uh, but the agency notes that not all inspections are included in the database. For example, inspections waiting for a final enforcement action are not listed. Uh, the FDA generally does not discuss possible completed uh, inspections except with the company involved. Uh, Nova Nordisk spokeswoman said that the company does not publicly share details. So that's why they dropped a little bit today. I, I don't think this is going to be a permanent issue for them whatsoever. Their drugs are still uh, in a very high demand. And as the rest of the world continues to modernize and um, obesity becomes a uh, bigger risk for them, you know, you think in China and even Mexico as well, I think Mexico is the most obese nation, um, these kind of drugs will be uh, exceedingly popular. Next on the list, I want to talk a little bit about Nicola. Give me one second here. I think their ticker is NKLA. So they had a huge pump up today. Yes, it did. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Give me a second. Anyways, they have a new COO, and this shot the stock up uh, pretty substantially. And we'll talk about that. They're up 33% today. Now, famously, this company got shot down. Um, their founder and former CEO. Uh, essentially lied uh, about nearly all uh, excuse me all aspects of the business and uh, was charged with two counts of securities fraud and that was from a United States grand uh, excuse me federal grand jury um, this really sent the company down quite a bit there was a lot of hype surrounding this company as a competitor for Tesla and it didn't shake out that way um, they have some other interesting news as well before we get to the COO uh, the CEO has come out and said they uh, see their first hydrogen fuel cell trucks being delivered by the end of the month, uh, which is pretty impressive. Now, they did also have a um, essentially a battery recall, but he doesn't think that that's going to really impact the company. One second. We'll give this article back uh, when we return. We actually have Steve Rhodes back as well. He's... Uh, you know, Mr. Global, and he's going to tell us a little bit about his trip and go through um, some stocks he's looking at. So, folks, stay tuned. 